Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fabletics Men workout, where today it's all about the legs. Behind me, I have three exercises as part of our movement pattern. Now, what I mean by this is it's not quite a superset exercise, one exercise performed immediately with another exercise. These are sort of two exercises morphed into one. And the benefit with this is all about movement across different planes. So we have height, we have forward, lateral, back, and depth. And the goal with this is to really optimize our movement pattern, get us out of this stagnated uh, single plane type movement that we often isolate a particular muscle and use all the muscles in the legs and our core within these exercises. Now, during the time of which we're filming this, many gyms are still closed. So I'm gonna be doing all of these workouts with just a pair of dumbbells. And although I have other apparatus involved within these workouts, all of these are progressions, you can still perform them just with dumbbells. So let's kick things off with our warm up, and later on, I'll break down more about the Fabletics Men October collection that I have on now. All right, let's get started with our warm up. Okay, so the purpose of this warm up, as with any warm up really, is twofold. One, to get blood, oxygen, and nutrients flowing through the muscle area that we're gonna be focusing on within today's workout. And secondly, to start to elasticate and warm up all of the muscle ligaments so that we're not tight during those movement patterns. Three basic concepts that I like to think about when I do a warm up is some sort of cardiovascular activity for about five minutes. If you don't have a treadmill, could be jogging on the spot, could be jump rope, could even be body weight lunges into some squat thrusts. Something that gets the heart rate up and you can sustain for three to five minutes. Secondly, I love to use the foam roller. A couple of different options there, whether you've got a trigger massage ball, you've got a peanut, you've got basically uh, the standard foam roller. Get working on the muscle, uh, front, back, glutes, whatever is your comfort level, work through it because all of those adhesions to the muscles, those knots, if you think of, create some issues when we start to go through a lot of the movement patterns. And finally, I like to incorporate some resistance band stretches so that I can stretch out the hamstring, the quad, the ankles, whatever it might be. For me, I have tight hamstrings, so I like to open them up, unstick some of those muscle fibers so that I feel much more free and able to start those movement patterns without the tightness. Speaking of which, let's move on and check out our first of our three leg movement patterns for today. So our first movement pattern here is a stiff legged deadlift into a step back lunge. And I love this movement. Both exercises perform together in one sequential movement. Let's start with our stiff legged deadlift. Keeping it simple, knees are soft, no need to lock out the legs. And as we lower the dumbbells down, keeping them close towards our shins, we push the hips back. So if I turn to the side here, you'll see, as I start to let my hands run just in front of my shins, my hips are going back, I'm not bending at the knees, therefore I keep all of that tension on the hamstring. You also don't need to lower the dumbbells all the way down towards the floor. That really depends on your flexibility and personal preference. For me, just as long as it's below the knees, I get a really good stretch in the hamstrings. And then think about the actual hamstrings doing the work. They shorten as you contract, as you bring your torso back into an upright, erect position, shoulders back, hips forwards, finish off the movement. From here, we go straight into our step back lunge. So we alternate legs, stiff legged deadlift into, let's say our right leg back. As we draw those dumbbells up towards our shoulders into a front back position, step back, lower them back, go immediately into a stiff legged deadlift. There's a really nice flow here and it's a great warm up exercise for any leg workout. So familiarize yourself with this, get used to that coordination pattern and aim for at least 12 reps on each side, whether you perform it for time or repetitions. Now, if you wanna go one step higher on here and really progress, you can perform this as a single RDL, Romanian deadlift, into a front overhead press lunge. This one really does take a lot more balance, coordination, and overall agility. But if you start off slow 
Focus on the actual balance, keeping your hips square, not opening, rotating them out as you lower that dumbbell down. Bring that leg back into alignment, and then it's that same leg that you're standing on. You then step forwards, heel toe, into an overhead lunge. Again, tricky, challenging, with or without dumbbells. Give it a try, work on your balance and coordination. And after that, we can now move on, check out exercise number two. All right, exercise two and our progression already. I'm getting a nice sweat on and it's increasing my metabolic rate. So this really is a metabolically conditioning workout just as much as we're focusing on the muscles. Now, what I'm doing here is a box step up into a gobbler squat. I'm using dumbbells as my resistance. You can also perform this without dumbbells. And also a note about the box or platform that you're stepping up on. I'm using a box where my knee is a little bit higher than my hip which is that much more effort to have to propel my weight up. If you're just starting out, maybe you're not too familiar with the box step up, find a bench or some kind of platform that will allow your knee to not be as high as your hip. That's a little bit easier to do. Anyway, with the movement, when you step up, make sure you finish off that movement pattern by bringing your opposite leg up and you're standing fully upright on the box before you step back down. Once you're down, bring those dumbbells up towards your chest Feet can be a little bit wider, your toes even pointed slightly outwards. That way you can get a nice deep squat with your knees tracking the same line as your toes. You're gonna to feel this in the quads, the glutes, and the hamstrings as you step back up. Let's talk about progression. Now, this one really is a bit of a, a movement pattern in itself. We're doing a box jump, so a nice plyometric movement there, a ballistic one, getting some explosive power off the ground. And then as we step back down, I'm going straight into a dumbbell push-up as part of my burpee, keeping my grip on those dumbbells. As I stand back up, I'm gonna propel myself up into the air, nice high jump, landing, placing the dumbbells back where they were and go straight into that box jump. Might take a few repetitions to kind of find that pattern, but once you do, boy, do you feel it. Heart and lungs are going, you feel it in the legs, and also a nice little workout for the calves, mobilizes the ankles, loosens everything up. You can do 30 seconds, 45 or even 60 seconds. That would be my target that I'd go for with either of these two exercises. All right, let's finish strong. Check out exercise number three and its progression. All right, so for exercise three, we start with a side lunge into a step back lunge. Now, the great thing about this is it introduces a lateral step and lunge, something that we haven't done within this workout. And for this one, just take a big side step out, bend your outside leg and try and keep the inside leg straight. You wanna keep all of your body weight much more over that outside leg. Return back to the center and repeat on the opposite leg. Try this first without weight if you haven't done it much before and then start to introduce some weight into it and then immediately after you've done one side step on each leg i do the same legs back onto a stability disc now whether you've got a stability disc or not i find this really beneficial because it introduces an aspect of instability into our workout much more balance and coordination whether we've got weight or not you're going to feel this much more on that front leg as you step back down and then repeat on the opposite leg Familiarize yourself with this movement first, and then we can progress it even more. I've got a bench behind me for a step back bench lunge. The goal here is to really get into that movement pattern of a bench lunge, alternating legs, and then immediately going into a front lunge, repeating that, and then back to that bench lunge, ideally without looking back behind you. That way you're working on your spatial awareness and you start to become much more aware of where your limbs, your feet, your body is in relation to where you're actually putting it. And there we have it. That sums up today's dynamic leg movement pattern. Something a little bit different from me, but I've already found benefit in doing this and I find this a great challenge as well as something that I can introduce into my other leg workouts. Like I mentioned, this has been part of Fabletics Men featured workout showcasing their new October collection. 
and I have on the front row top. This is a really cool kind of rusty orange. Love this color. They've got it in hoodies, tanks, t-shirts as well. So definitely stocking up on this one and paired this with their classic franchise short, which great thing about this, they have the inner lining here. So for any of those pro box jumps, lunges, step backs, I got the short on the outside, keeping everything nice and secure, if you know what I mean, on the inside, plus tons of pockets. Two at the side, zippers out the back, and especially if you're outside running or doing anything where maybe you wanna put your phone, music, or keys in there, keeps it nice and snug on the inside pocket. As always, you can find out more about Fabletics, man. Head over to my link, which is in the description below, and I'll put it up here on the video, fabletics.com slash robriches. Check out all of their latest gear, October collection, and much more, and you get 50% off your first order. So, the win-win. All right, guys, be sure to check out more from Fabletics, man, and me, and I'll also put more of my stretch and mobility warm-up on my Facebook, along with a few images from today's shoot and a full breakdown of the exercise. So check out this video, then head over to my Facebook page. Link is in the video below. It's Rob Rich's Fitness, and you can follow the program set for set, rep for rep. See you guys back soon. Take care, look after yourself, stay strong.